Girl Swirl started because of magic, honestly. You will notice there's no I in Girl Swirl. We wanted to drop the I because we're a team and it's about the collective experience. We've just been spreading our mission of getting more people on board, and following our passion. My name is Lindsay Klusik. I'm originally from Connecticut, but my grandpa moved here in like 1982, and he moved here as an actor and bought a house on Windward, so like right here. Um, so I was always growing up coming to Venice in the summers, like instead of going to sleepaway camp or something like that, my mom would just send us out here to hang out with family. I feel like when I would come out here in Venice, I grew up in a town where it was like, very, everyone was like very cookie cutter, everyone was this, looked the same, same color skin, similar backgrounds, and when I would come to Venice specifically, you know, and come hang out here, I was allowed to walk down to the beach by myself, but then my grandpa would like watch me from the background. It was like I always felt more accepted here, and I felt like that there was kind of like more to life. And anytime I ever left Venice, I was like, I gotta get back there. So I moved here in my early 20s after I graduated college. And then it's been home ever since. I started to skate kind of right when I moved here. A friend of mine from high school was, he moved out here a little bit before me and was always cruising around. I was like, okay, wait, I gotta learn how to do that. Can you teach me? and he taught me to cruise, just cruising around on the boardwalk all the way to the marina and back, and I would just kind of skate around at night always by myself. <laughs> and then I, I kind of put the board down. I didn't really know where to go, like beyond just cruising around. And I would come down here and see the skate park, but it was always like, <laughs> hi. Hello. Um, you can come say hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, you come back now. Uh, yeah. You're making nervous being here? No, not at all. I love you being I there. Like, I <laughs> no, come hang. <laughs> Talking about all the friends that we knew, I had um, a friend move in the house that I was staying staying in, his name was Leco, and he was like all friends with all the Brazilian boys that like worked for Carver and stuff. So we would just cruise around, uh, go to the pier for sunset, like hang out on the boardwalk, and he introduced me to like what a Carver board was, and was like, oh, it's a whole other style of skating, it's a surf skate style. And then from then on, I was like stealing his board every day. As soon as I bought my first Carver board, then like probably a month later, that's when Girls World started. There was a bunch of us that had been living in Venice for a while, skating around by ourselves. One of them being Lucy, and when I met Luce, she like shared with me the idea of getting more girls on boards because when you we got together, we just had so much fun. It was so playful and. Probably for like a month or so, Lucy kept calling me saying, we gotta get more girls on the boards, we gotta get more girls, I'm gonna start like heavily recruiting. So she kind of would go around Venice if there was a party or if she was at a coffee shop or just around, if she saw anyone telling them, inviting them to this like one specific, we call them now group skates, but one specific skate. Um, we're actually coming up on our sixth year anniversary, which is honest, I, is so wild. We always say it was that one magical night in February. It kind of like, there were little moments before, like building the energy, but that night there was something that really clicked. Lucy had shared the idea of like girls swirling together. And I remember that night I like had met up for the group scape, but then I had to leave. And then I come back to my phone and it's like a huge text chain had started. They were coming up with all different names. And I remember being like, no, we're sticking to Girl Swirl. It has to be Girl Swirl. That's like what it was from the start. And then I think within the next week, we already had, we're like shooting for a local brand. And 
everyone was really stoked on the idea and just wanted to keep it going. And I think at that time too in Venice, I was kind of like, you know, should I leave Venice? I've been here for a long time and kind of wondering what my like next direction was. And it's funny, I got, like I go to this tarot guy and he was like, you either need to, you need to leave now or there's going to be something that's going to like root you here a lot deeper in community and you're not going to be able to leave, which is wild because I still remember that. And then, and then that, you know, with the start of Girl Swirl, I had been holding in my higher vision too, like wanting more women in my life. Um, to feel closer to and like live this lifestyle by the beach in Venice so yeah it's like there's a lot of hard work that went into starting it but I also believe that it was like written in the stars that it was like something that had to happen. Originally there was nine of us Lucy, Mariah, myself, Danielle, Toby, Monroe, Kelsey, Shannon, and Julia and then we have new team riders of course so that was like really exciting when we started to bring on other girls so we have Val and Yaya and then we have another team rider starting next month yeah the team riders are fun because it's like everyone has such cool style and everyone brings something to the team so I think being in Venice like uh, like always looking back at history and all that, like at the at the Z Boy style, Dogtown style, like of course. I think with Girl Swirl, being able to elaborate on the surf skate style is just something that's like super freeing. And I hope that we like are paying like homage to the Z Boys in the way that they would love. And you know, there's some still around, and you know, they give us props and stuff for doing what we're doing. Just do what you love. The line through everything is just like strengthening authentic connection between women and everyone. Yeah, I feel like as a little girl, like I literally had guy friends that had skate parks in their backyard. And it's really weird that I never ever stepped foot on a board and I really do think it all has to do with representation. So we've already kind of like pushed the needle in, in the right direction. And then even hearing now that there's all these like girls skating all around the world, like on Girl Swirl boards. I am beyond thankful for Venice. Do you hear me, baby? I said, do what you love. Do what you love. Do what you love. My, pretty much my whole family lives here, and my chosen family lives here, and all the people I love, like, I, yeah, I don't know what I would do without Venice. I fucking love Venice, yeah.